What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how I installed this really simple DIY mini split system here in my shop. It has made things so much more comfortable, really cooled down the space tremendously, and again, it was really easy to install. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. It's starting to get pretty warm here in Asheville, so the next step in my shop build out was to get some heating and cooling added to the shop. So I decided to go with the mini split unit again as I had really great results with my mini split in the last shop and I reached out to Mr. Cool to see if they might be interested in working together on this video. And they agreed to send me a pair of mini split units, one for the shop space and one for the front office area. And I figured I'd make a video on the installation process just to kind of show you guys how easy these units were to install. So before we dive into the installation process, let's talk about the components of a typical mini split system. So on the inside of your space, you've got the air handler or evaporator, which is hung on the wall with a bracket. And this unit is also what the remote talks to so that you can control the unit without having to interact with it directly. The condenser is located outside and this is where the power is run and is also where the refrigerant lines are connected. So in between the indoor and outdoor unit is the line set, which includes the refrigerant lines. There's also a communication wire that runs between the units that relays the signal from your remote to the outdoor unit. All right, so let's get to the install. So the first step was to get the bracket for the air handler mounted inside the shop. And we made sure the bracket was level and then marked the whole locations on the wall. And since this wall was concrete block, we had to use a masonry bit to drill these holes. Also, you might notice that I'm not the one actually doing the work here. That's because this is a commercial space, so we had to pull a permit for this mini split install, and I couldn't personally do the work because I'm not an HVAC professional. So that said, this process was extremely simple and is definitely an easy DIY project if you're not in a commercial space. So after drilling the holes, we mounted the bracket using concrete anchors, and let me tell you, this thing is plenty sturdy. It is well mounted to the wall. So next, we marked the location for the hole where the line set would run through the wall, and Mr. Cool includes this plastic sleeve just to help keep things looking nice and tidy when running the lines through the wall. And again, this was a concrete wall, so we used an SDS drill and a few different bits to remove the concrete. First, we drilled a pilot hole with a larger drill bit, which allowed us to check whether this was solid concrete or hollow block in this section. And since it was hollow, we next drilled a series of holes around the perimeter of the hole just to help establish the edges of this hole. So to remove the bulk of the concrete, we switched over to a chisel attachment for the SDS, which made really quick work of getting rid of this material. And if you're doing this at home and you don't own an SDS drill, you can definitely rent one from most big box stores. And you can see that the flange on this plastic sleeve covers up the edges of the hole, so you don't need to be totally precise and you can still get a nice clean finished look. With the hole drilled and the sleeve in place, we could then feed the line set, which is already attached to the air handler, through the wall and get the air handler mounted to the bracket. And this is definitely a two person job as one person really needs to be able to feed the line set while the other person lifts the air handler. And the back edge of the air handler hooks onto the bracket and then it just kind of snaps into place. Next, we could run the condensate line from the air handler outside. And this is where all of the water that the unit pulls from the air will escape to the outside. And it's really important that this line isn't kinked or crushed in any way as the water needs to be able to flow freely. And there isn't a pump here, so the water purely relies on gravity to flow out of the pipe, which is why you see that this pipe is running straight down the wall. So in this unit, there were also some smaller secondary filters that could be added to the main filters, which just helped to trap more fine dust. And if you're gonna be installing your unit in a shop environment like mine, you really need to make sure to clean your filters regularly, at least about once a month. And otherwise, the condensate line will get filled with dust and will back up, leading to a bunch of water dripping into your shop. And don't ask me how I know that. So next, we secured the line set to the wall using these brackets and then ran the lines back to where the outdoor unit would be located. And as I mentioned, this Mr. Cool unit comes with a pre-attached 25 foot long line set. And these lines are actually pre-charged with refrigerant. And this is what makes this a DIY installation process as typically you'd need to pull a vacuum on these lines when attaching them to the condenser. So after securing the lines to the wall, we could get to work on the outdoor unit itself. We placed the condenser on one of these plastic pads just to get it up off the ground, and then we could connect the line set. And this is a really simple process. You basically just need to make sure everything is nice and tight, and we checked for leaks a little bit later in the process. After attaching the line set, we had an electrician come out to wire up the condenser, 
This is really the one spot in this project where you'd really need a licensed professional, as this unit runs on 220 volt power and you really probably don't want to be doing this stuff yourself. So we had the power run from my outdoor panel directly to the condenser, although you can run your power from inside if needed. The last step before powering the unit on was to open the valves and check for leaks. And opening these valves allows the refrigerant in the condenser to run into the lines, so you want to make sure to be ready to check for leaks before opening these valves. We use this big blue leak detector spray to check for leaks, but you can also just use soapy water. And if you see any bubbles, you just need to retighten that area. And luckily we had no leaks, so we could get the air handler powered on. And let me tell you, it was pretty dang awesome to feel that cool air for the first time. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. Holy crap. So with that, this first unit was pretty much ready to go, but I also wanted to add this smart controller accessory that Mr. Cool includes with the unit. And this little USB stick has a Wi-Fi radio inside, which allows the unit to connect to your local Wi-Fi network and be controlled remotely. And the USB stick just plugs into the inside of the front panel on the air handler, and then you can download the smart HVAC app to control the mini split remotely. You can also set up schedules within the app, which is really nice as I can have the unit kick on about an hour before I get to the shop every day and then turn off right when I'm leaving. There's also a geofence option where the unit can turn on or off depending on whether you're there or gone. So with that, the unit in the shop area was pretty much finished, so we could move on to the unit in the front area. And selling this unit was mostly the same process, except that we needed a much longer line set to reach the back side of the shop. And that's why I went with this particular mini split, which is from Mr. Cool's Advantage line, because I needed a custom line set length, which they don't offer in that DIY series. The only other big difference was that we used three quarter inch PVC pipe for the condensate line, which is just a little bit more secure than the included hose. It also allowed us to run the line over the longer distance. You also notice that the line drops from left to right. And this is again, because these condensate lines rely on gravity to run the water outside. And with that, both systems were working great and the shop was feeling amazing, so I could call this project done. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I am really, really happy to have this mini split system installed here in the shop. It was getting pretty toasty in here. There's really no airflow in here, and this mini split has really gotten the temperature under control here. If you wanna learn more about these mini splits, check out the links in the video description below. Also in the video description below will be links to all the tools we use to install the mini split system in case you guys are looking to add those before you tackle one of these projects on your own. And last, if it's your first time here, go ahead and get subscribed and ring that little notification bell. I've got new videos like this pretty much every week and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So thanks again for watching everybody and until next week, happy building.